Um, one of the things, just in studying the hero's journey, I don't know if you know the book, The Heroes. Actually, it's a it's an audio program, but it's available through Audible as if it's an audio book. It's called The Hero's Two Journeys by, I think, Michael Haig and Christopher Vogler, who are Hollywood screenwriters. And they they made the point in that program that the hero's journey is not very compelling if we just look at the external aspects of the journey. Like if we can write a story that is based on the external aspects of the story, and that's not nearly as compelling as the same, you know, three-dimensional external world events, but then having a view into how the character themselves changed as a result of the the journey. And so like in my Paisa formula, right? A big part of it is this like agitation, this like, oh, I have to solve this problem. And the invalidation, I looked for good solutions, but I couldn't find one, right? Um, and so there is the emotional aspect of it. And so I think as we, as spurred on by your question there, as we are thinking about telling a customer story, it's one thing to say, the customer implemented our solution and they got the great results, right? Like that's, but there is not that internal journey that that they go through, like the the agitation of the problem being unsolved, what they tried beforehand, what didn't work, what frustrations they ran into trying to get the problem solved before they uncovered whatever your product or service is or before they were introduced to it. 